Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back, it's B Plus, and this is the CHH Talk Album Bracket Review. So, we have now made our way to the uh, the top 16, the sweet 16 of albums for this year, uh, according to B Plus, according to myself. So let's go ahead and walk ourselves, and walk our way through uh, to get to our representative for the uh, red bracket here. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at Andy Minio versus uh, Propaganda, Terraforma, Terraform the People. So uh, I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with Andy here. Just a nice project gave you a little bit of everything. So go with Andy there in this um, in that comparison. Uh, let's go ahead and move to Ruslan versus Aha Gazelle. Two very different artists, <laughs> if I can say that. Um, which album I enjoyed the best? Man, this is, they're, they're so different. It's hard to, to look at them and try to pick which one I liked better. Um, I think as far as like what is getting more plays for me is AHA. But at the same time, like what really speaks to me, speaks to my heart more is Ruslan. Um, so it's hard to pit these two against each other. But um I am going to go with, I'm going to go with, um, I don't like this one. I don't like this one at all. I'm going to go with AHA. I think I'm going to go with AHA here and move him on to our Elite Eight. And then while we're here, we're just going to go ahead and hop right to the Final Four. Who's going to be representing the red bracket um, in this uh, final four matchup or this elite eight matchup to go see who goes to the final four. Um, again, this is tough. I think to kind of use that same barometer that I used with Ruslan versus AHA, I think I listened to, to Andy's project more and it speaks more to my heart more. So I'm gonna go with Andy is the representative for the red bracket now let's go ahead and hop over to uh let's switch it up let's hop over to the blue side first okay so now we are over here uh back with another bracket with aha in it um so let's start from the bottom up since aha is on my brain let's see uh part of me versus coma i think that's an easy one for me that's um that's aha moving on to the elite eight again on this side um and next up we have no church in a while versus souls acrylic again two very different projects one's very much trap one is very much boom bat and so um i'm going to go with souls acrylic with the upset um 4c beating the number one so we have a four versus a number two and soul acrylic versus aha and again, I think the AHA is going to get clipped. I think he gets clipped in both of these brackets at the Elite Eight spot. Souls Acrylic is headed to the final four. Headed to the final four, Souls Acrylic. Okay, so now we are over to the green side. Let's start with our first matchup. We have, um, we have Swoop versus um, Christopher Sincere, the middle coming off of a couple upsets to get us here. Um, it's interesting that both of these are up against each other because I feel like um, early on Swoop had that that Kanye influence, and I feel like now Christopher Sincere has that little bit of that Kanye influence in his music. Um, but man, it's hard to top um, 24. 24 is headed to the Elite Eight. And on the bottom side here, we have uh, one of my favorite EPs of the year versus one of my favorite albums of the year. So um, we're gonna have to make a decision here. Free me or mission less is more. Man, I knew the blue bracket was gonna be tough, but now the green one is turning out to be pretty tough in and of itself. So I think here, I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna vote with my heart here, and I'm gonna go with the EP by Jay Monty. A slight edge, like I said. Um, less is more. 
I probably there was a two week period this year with less is more where I listened to nothing but less is more. Um, but um, yeah, there we have it. That's my lead eight. Let's go ahead and, uh, and head to the final four here. Uh, Swoop versus Jay Monty. That would be a dope collab. They both have awesome, wonderful testimonies as well. So we need to see a collab out of them too. But as far as who I'm choosing to go to the final four to represent the green bracket, I am going to go with the homie Swoop. Going with Swoop. Okay, and for our fourth and final uh, bracket here, or section of the bracket here, starting from the bottom up, we're going to go with Indy Tribe versus Wes Harris. I got to go with Indy Tribe just because Indy Tribe had a heck of a year. Um, very dope project, dope rollout. It was just nice. And then on the top side, we have a really good, intriguing matchup. We have Donda once again. I feel like Donda was a one seed and they're barely winning all their games. <laughs> they're barely winning all their games, but uh, they're going to win another one. I want to go with Donda to go to the Elite Eight and then Donda's luck will run out ultimately and they are losing to Indy Tribe. Indy Tribe will represent our final four. So for our final four here, I think we have, um, we have, let me think here. We have uh, Neverland. We have uh, Indie Tribe representing the yellow. The blue, we have Souls Acrylic. And then fourth, we have um, Swoop. So uh, tune in next time. I will break down uh, the final four and who my, according to the CHH Talk bracket, who my number one album of the year is.